all right guys this is Deepen Gogoi technical analyst of LIS Blue so in this video I'll discuss about bank nifty now you can see this is a bank nifty and the daily time frame in a daily time frame I drawn uh, one support and resistance uh, which is most important because uh, now you can see here we have seen support and resistance 28,977 or you can say uh, almost 28,980 right and this is a resistant and another support is there 28,580 that is our support so why I drawn this support and resistant line because this support and resistant line are respecting both sides so let's take a look now we have seen this is a support when price drop down and reverse back from this area and we have seen this is a support and this support are very obvious because suddenly price came down and reverse back next if you want to see here we have seen after breaking this level price push up toward this level and which was previously support now it's become a resistant and drop again so now we have seen this line are respecting both side and currently you can see uh, 200 moving average up uh, in that trend line right supporting line now we have seen three confirmation one is support second is resistant and the third is 200 moving average both are uh, forming a strong support right and uh, let's take a look another one next we have seen a resistance line around 28977 uh, or you can say around figure 80 now we have seen price uh, drop down and reverse back from this area and form a supporting line and look another condition here we have seen this is a strong bearish candle black one strong bearish candle and to break this supporting line we need a strong uh, bearish momentum candle so which is forming here right so we have seen a strong bearish momentum here was support and to break this support line we need strong momentum candle and after that they broke so when they are forming this type of support we confirm this is a strong support are there and if you wanna see here we have seen multiple rejection but uh, some tail are there uh, body are still under control this uh, supporting line oh, sorry raise the line now now I can see after uh, pushing up this market you can see exactly from here around 28977 price drop down again from this area so we have seen three confirmation uh, there in this resistance line so that is why this resistance line uh, pretty uh, strong all right so now we have seen this is our support and remember if they break this support and targeting toward 20 8204 right now price is running in this uh, middle of this range here our trading range right and this is our range okay once if uh, if today break this resistance line now where they are targeting that is why we must draw by using same concept like uh, both side respecting uh, or not we must uh, focus on that criteria so let's uh, let's take a look we have seen most recent lower point are there <laughs> and then now we have seen here now you can see this is a little more higher and body are there and here we have seen uh, a support tail so now let me draw some uh, range because we have seen some tail are there a little more below and body a little more above and here body a little more above and here we have seen some tail are there so in that case if uh, 
if you find this type of uh, candlestick and the tail or body are is more different so in that case we are going we must draw a range right let me draw and let me remove this one so basically i am using this one mt4 which is given by allies blue so who people are interested you just uh, contact with allies blue uh, supporting team and uh, definitely they will provide you and this cost is uh, very low i think uh, 500 monthly i'm not exactly confirmed and uh, you just contact with allies blue supporting team definitely they will provide you okay now right all right okay and uh, now you can see some criteria there when i'm going to connect uh, this point uh, when i try to connect this point and we have seen some little more higher other and here body so i uh, according to me i need more recent because we have seen this is too far from current price so we have seen this is the most recent comparatively this one so i want to connect this two only now just a minute okay i want to connect this one this two portion right okay okay cool now you can see i drawn it this is called our resistant zone now not color resistant line this is called resistant zone once price break this level so we are expecting price will hit this resistant line remember from this area it will reverse back i'm not talking like that you must close in this area because after getting this point they might give a retracement again right so in that case we have to close our position remember this is we are just a, uh, we are just a finding uh, where is our entry point and exit point in a daily basis okay now let's check in the four hour time frame how it should look like okay let me tell you uh, about candlestick pattern in a daily time frame now we have seen this was a strong bearish candle and the next day we have seen low momentum bearish candle and later we have seen strong bullish candle so in that case if you want to see here we have seen a morning start daily remember morning start and after that we have seen this is black candle inside bar and again long week candle and inside bar and long week candle bullish momentum candle they are forming like that that means to break this uh, support is uh, sorry supporting zone there are a multiple testing right buyer and seller fully fighting in this area sometimes buyer are pushing up and the seller again dominating yeah, right and the seller try to dominate this market and buyer are again dominating this uh, seller so now last two days today uh, last two days we have seen buyer are still dominating but remember but they are not able to break this level still 28,977 if they break this level so we will confirm price will go up why because they are forming a double top pattern or you can say like w pattern so where is the w pattern okay let me zoom a little more then it will be very clear right so now we have seen this price drop down and push up again drop down and trying to push up this market now we have seen this is a first bottom second bottom and remember bottom uh, most of the people are thinking bottom should be same place like that right this is called bottom not like that bottom means sometime might be like that and here like that it might be a little more higher than previous okay so all a bottom right you can say like that w pattern most of the people are using w pattern whatever they say doesn't matter you just find out the behavior of this pattern or candle that is the important thing right so now you can see they are trying to break this level and the most of the people are thinking hey here is the 200 moving average but we have seen this is called zone 
right small zone so that is why we are looking for extremely higher point right extremely higher point current market so that is that is why i drawn here right so we have seen this is a w pattern and trying to break this neckline so we have seen this is a neckline point is 28977 if they break this level so we are targeting to this level of uh, 29560 so that is our target and now what is our trading strategy and how we will trade in this market now let's check in a 15 minute uh, how market running right now so now we have seen here uh, here we have seen buyer pushing there up to this level and again drop down and the next time again they are pushing again price drop down again pushing drop down again price are pushing drop down so now we can see by seeing this area the buyer are dominating right all right so seller are not able to uh, push the market pbs lower point right now that means what is the market behavior that means that means seller are uh, removing from this area right who people sold there just they are start booking their profit and then now buyer are increasing have you seen buyer are pushing the market more higher and higher seller are not able to push the market lower so that means uh, seller are still uh, uh, dominating by buyer that is the important right so now we can see how moving averages are acting here now we can see we have seen this one red moving averages not uh, actually this is not called red moving <laughs> red color this is 50 moving average exponential i'm using all moving average exponential remember and uh, there is a different criteria okay i'll tell you uh, one day i'll create a video why i'm using moving average how to read because very difficult to read this one so that is why i'm not uh, creating any video for you after like uh, when you will get knowledge about that then i will get about that how to how i use that one right so now we can see we have seen price are um, respecting moving average 50 so price drop down bounce again here but broke and then now you can see next drop down bounce again so next time we are looking for moving average 50 or 20 if price drop down near 50 and 20 right if you if most of the people are thinking hey can i follow 20 can i follow 50 but previously if you want to see the price are following moving average 50 so basically we are looking for 50 but remember if sometimes what happened price not able to reach that 50 level and 20 level are there 20 moving average and in that area they are forming some bullish candlestick pattern so if they appear bullish candlestick pattern above the 20 moving average we will start buying again right got it or if uh price not able to form any bullish pattern uh, above uh, this 20 moving average so we are not going to buy we will wait to retrace toward the moving average 50 and we'll start buying in that case because uh, in our previous market behavior price is following 50 moving average all right okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and for evening session you just subscribe my another youtube channel which is already given in this uh, description thanks for watching